Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have a uh, very PTSD paint scheme. This is the uh, Ryan Newman 2020, I believe it's Cook maybe? I've heard Kosh, Coke, Cook, uh, a bunch of different ones. So I'm going to go with Cook just because... Uh, I've seen people with last names that are Cook, and it kind of it's kind of spelled that way, at least from what I remember. Uh, but we'll see. I, I don't know. I think it's Cook, but we're just going to go uh, with that for this review because I don't mean I'm sure there's different ways you could technically say this. Uh, but yeah, Ryan Newman. This is the 2020. Uh, very very interesting car here. In case if you know the backstory, um, yeah, not a good not a good scheme for Newman. I got the 6 here and the 17, so we're going to go ahead and pull this bad boy. I don't know what that is. Pull, uh, pull this bad boy out of the box here. I ended up getting this at uh, the race from Dega. Surprisingly, this thing was only $25. And I say only because this scheme alone, look right there, it's got the tag on it. Um, $59.95, which is probably what was supposed to be the price but he told me 25 so i gave him 25 for it an absolute steal by the way uh super awesome paint scheme again it's got a lot of history to it already the very first race it ran had a whole lot of history it was not very good history but it was a history nonetheless uh so we're going to go ahead and take a second to pop this off of the base so give me just a second and i'll be back with that off the base Here's the die cast off of the base, and quite a fantastic little scheme here. Um, so a lot of you know who I am, know what I do, I make a lot of customs. Some of you might be wondering, and some of you have already kind of pointed out on Instagram, uh, that this car could have possibly been bought for the Daytona 500 race version. Uh, that was the initial buy, but I don't know. Because, like, this car is so rare, it's more expensive than normal than your $70 purchase. It's like a... I think I've seen some for, like, 120 115 130 somewhere around that range. And that's untouched. That's no customization to it at all. So I would, I would really hate to destroy such a, one, really nice car, and two, such a valuable car. You know what I mean? I would absolutely hate to. But at the same time, that's such such a challenging scheme to make, or not scheme, but a car to make, like a flip to make. And I want to do it. I really do. But I just, I don't know if I will. The more I think about it, the less I want to do it. I might just have to rip it off like a band-aid and do it anyway. Uh, but, I mean, he's fine. You know, he's not dead. He wasn't severely injured. He had a couple scrapes and scratches. Came out of the hospital, like, what, three-ish days later, he was fine. He was racing back pretty soon. You know, he's been cleared. He's, he's still racing. Maybe not in NASCAR, but uh, he uh, he came back last year for the uh, like a throwback race. So, I mean, you know, that was cool. He's still racing. He's fine. Uh, so, I really don't know. But I never thought I would get my hands on one of these cars just because it was so hard to get. Um, very, very difficult to find. I, uh, I'm... I'm wanting a 2022, what is it, Byron throwback to Gordon. You can't find that anywhere. Good luck. Because uh, I was going to make the race version, but nope. Good luck with that one. Anyway, we got Cook here on the hood. Got this little uh, scoop looking thing. Got the little uh, triangle there. Got the Cup Series banner. I kind of miss those. Oh, the banner's a little wonky. Look at that, man. That sucks. Ah, oh well, it is what it is. No big deal. Got the number six right there. Cook once again. Got the roof flaps that do deploy. Got one little, uh, almost an antenna, one little camera there. Newman on the rear name banner. Uh, then 432 out of how many? 505, so a little bit of a later run. So, I, dude, I wonder, like how the door number goes because you know how the door numbers are with 124s i wonder how expensive the door number sold for or is listed for may, they may not even be sold it may have uh the owner may have kept it i'm not sure i got uh, cook right there once again of course you got cook on the back with the tail lights roush fenway this is before it was uh 
Old Brad was in there. Got the Ford. Got the six there. Oscar Meyer. Uh, Cook once again. Oscar Meyer once again. Uh, Ryan Newman. See Ford. Cook. Coca Cola. Wyndham Rewards. Castrol. Uh, Mac Tools. Simons. Can't tell when that one is. Champion. Got the number six there. NASCAR Race Car. NASCAR Cup Series. Of course, you got your Goodyear and your Goodyear Eagle tires. Of course, they are uh, posable, you know, because there is 124 in the Cup car. K&N 3M, uh, Sunoco, got the number 6 there. A nice, clean front end. I kind of miss the old Mustangs, I'm not going to lie. I really, really like the Gen 6 cars uh, still. I kind of wish they still raced them, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to go and back up here, pop open the hood, see what's underneath, see some of the engine detail we got going on, which still isn't a whole lot. There we go, got some blue in there. You see some... Hoses, gears, wires, but I mean, you know, none of them are colored or anything. None of them are colored or anything, if I could stop getting choked up on my words. Um, let's see, powered by Ford, Coke, not Coke, Jesus, Cook, and k &N. Of course, you got your engine detail there. And for your undercarriage, oh, we got a mesh one on it also. For your undercarriage, not a whole lot going on, just kind of your standard uh, Gen 6 124 details there. Got your transmission. Uh, and your exhaust, which are painted and whatever's up here. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool race car. Again, I don't know if I'm going to make the Daytona 500 car. Might be one of those uh, decisions I have to let Instagram polls uh, figure out. So, yeah, again, still pretty nice paint scheme, though. I'm super happy I was able to even get it in the first place. Uh, and super cheap, too, so that was pretty uh, mind-blowing. So, with that being said, I do believe that we'll be all for this die cash review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. I got one too many problems. Why? Lie. Eventually come to light and shine. Right. I miss when life was easy. Homie, time flies. Now I listen to these angels tell me.